everyone. Welcome to the Femme Tell All podcast. My name is Madison Bellissimo. And I'm Ruth Devereaux. And today we are doing another segment of Men v. Women, but we're covering... Running the household. Oof. What a hot topic. It is a hot topic. And it's because of gender roles that are set in society that Mm -hmm. sometimes people might think like this is a guarantee of this is what a woman's supposed to do in a household and this is what a man's supposed to do in a household. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not always true, and it's not always what's best for the partnership if you mm-hmm. just stick to the gender roles. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's not clean cut like that. It's, it's really not, not no. black and white. Absolutely There's, not. It's per person. It's per couple. It's yeah. per household. Um, some people are with a single parent. Some, you know. Yeah. So this is obviously, if we're talking about specifically gender roles, a man and a woman running a household together, how they coordinate it. Absolutely. Uh, what we would recommend, what we've noticed from not only doing it ourselves yeah. with significant others in the past what we've maybe noticed from our parents and their partners um so yeah i'd love to get into it yeah um do you think there's any hard fast rule for running a household i don't i really don't i do think that you need to like figure out like is each person's schedule is different Mm -hmm. each person's strengths are different i will say in my long-term relationship when i was younger um he worked from home yeah and i worked in an office and he did almost all of the household chores. Mm -hmm. He would go to the grocery store. He would clean the house. He would do the laundry. He would do everything. Yeah. But even I saw in that relationship because he was taking all of that on and still working, even though he was working from home. Yeah. He became, became a little bit more frustrated with the fact that I wasn't taking on any. Pulling your weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And very fair, fairly Mm -hmm. so. And like now, like now being older and now recognizing and now working from home myself and taking Mm -hmm. on a lot of those those roles myself like it can feel very daunting if you're the only one that's able to do it Mm. and then your partner doesn't absolutely um luckily like for us like I knew that going into my new like relationship and then us moving in together and so like we've had conversations and so I I do majority of the household stuff because I work from home, but yeah. he'll do like our laundry or he'll take mm-hmm. on like different pieces or if, yeah. or if I'm working and I'm in production can like consistently he'll clean in the morning. He has to, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Again. Um, well, I I love what you said about um, well, all of that. I love everything <laughs> that you said first of all, but that no, <laughs> no surprise there. But in the way of um, specifically, what stood out to me is a lot of the times the partner that works from home, mm-hmm. whether that be a stay at home parent, yeah. or if that's an actual job from home, yeah, yeah. which let's be clear, a homemaker, a parent is an actual job. It I'm not saying job. it like, it's but I'm saying like a nine to five, blah yeah. blah blah. Um, a lot of the time, I feel like it's silent work mm-hmm. where like they don't see that you're doing so right. much because they're going to the office, they're going to the whatever. Yeah. Um, and they don't see how much you can still be so tied to something yeah. and multitasking. Absolutely. And I think it does unfortunately land on those parents or those partners a lot of the time um, if they are working at home yeah. because it just feels like a no-brainer, which is fair. Yeah. And I think you need to divide your strengths and yeah. your yeah. <laughs> causes, you know, yeah. um, specifically. But I think it, it is hard – I think the tendency is to lean on the partner that is yeah. more likely to be home more. Well, I think what happens is like it's the unseen work, right? So mm. if you go home and you if you leave home and you mm-hmm. come back and the house is clean, yeah. you don't know how many hours that took. Mm-mm. You don't know what the organization skills. You yeah. don't know how that took time away from whatever, taking yeah. care of the kids or taking yeah. other work on that you need to. Yeah. Like, you're just seeing the end result. And it's so easy to just go like, oh, you did it. Thanks. Yeah. yeah you did not putting together like – they did that on their one 30 minute lunch break, exactly, yeah. you know, because that they knew if they didn't get it done now that it wouldn't be done by the yeah. time I got home and they wanted to do it before I got home. Cause exactly. that's like a mental, oh, it's, it's a lot of mental load too. When you work from home, like I think a lot of the times you're affected more by how the household looks. Yeah. So you're constantly just you need trying to, to take like, care yeah, of it. And yeah. You, you're, your brain can't settle until it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, not at all. Like the, any kind of clutter, like really yeah. can mentally hinder you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I totally agree with that, and I think it's natural for the uh, to, for two people to be like, well, you're home more, or you can sure, stay yeah. home more. So like, the obvious choice is for you. But I sure. think some people don't have that natural tendency. That's also no true. matter your gender. Yeah, yeah. Like I think about you know my brother and his wife, like, and they just had a baby, mm. and the baby's moving out here. I'm so excited, Aurelia. <laughs> um, I'm so excited, but. Um, my brother during this time, thankfully Spain actually believes in 
<laughs> paternity and maternity leave uh, as opposed I'm... to some countries <laughs> um but so they've actually been able to be at home completely so nice. getting paid yeah to take care of their be. child yeah what a concept yeah um but typically max it's like eight weeks yeah in America, yeah, right? yeah, it's, yeah it's not even it's insane. yeah it's it's horrible it's horrendous but they've kind of decided when they live in spain max is the stay-at-home parent oh, you know yeah. more you know and it varies because they're kind of yeah. doing the two country living. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I just, I, that warms my heart so much yeah. because he but is. There's still like a lot of negative connotation, oh, right? On the totally. outside for a man staying home versus a woman. Yeah. Like, it's almost thought of like a woman, this is her role. Yeah. She's supposed to raise the child. Yeah. She's supposed to give up whatever she's doing mm-hmm. at this time, to just focus on the child. 100%. And the man continues on. Or if he does, there is very much of that, like, oh my God. He's a saint. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> you're right. You're so right. <laughs> Call me on it. Call no, me no, on it. No, I didn't mean and like, like no, yeah. but you're right because yeah. like I even have rose colored glasses because it's my brother. Yeah. You know, I'm like, he's such a good man. <laughs> you know, but I'm like, pull your weight. <laughs> pull your weight. That's what you're supposed to do, you it know? Is. And he is he's wonderful. He I is. fucking love my he brother. He's the best. Yeah. But he's my bestie. Hey, what's up? <laughs> um <Excuse> but, <laughs> I have many besties. <laughs> I have many besties. I'm so sorry. And he is one of them. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that I, I do commend. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, yeah. he's such a saint. But he isn't. But in the, in the way of like, I'm glad he is showing up yeah, as a absolutely. partner and pulling his weight yeah. how he knows best to yeah. do it. And when I think about them and I think about my parents, mm. my, the men in those those hetero, uh, heterosexual relationships are the cooks yeah not the woman that's so true my yeah. dad way my mom was a stay-at-home mother and she did it divinely mother i love you oh. um but she was not the cook of the house yeah. like she would cook for us and she can cook she can throw down in the kitchen but by far my dad that would go and work 12 hour days on set mm-hmm. would still co- come home and and cook for us Aww. like a lot of the time because he just likes his food a certain way yeah. and so that could be on controlling issues <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but for the most part he loves cooking wow. it's just something that it's it's one of his strengths and he yeah. really loves it and he's really good Aww. at it and same with max that's so awesome yeah like he cooks more yeah because he likes cooking and it's not like i um his wife can can't cook yeah. but it's like um she likes cooking and she cooked before but he's really taken the reins on that because he loves it so much wow. and i saw it happen with my parents too you I know love that see i in, in not until neil like prior every other relationship i was in i was not like i was mm-hmm. like i didn't cook <laughs> not I didn't, me like, not this bitch i'm like mm. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm sat. <laughs> You're like tucking yeah. in the napkin. <laughs> I used to always say even all my friends, yeah. like all my friends know how to cook and like yeah. I just didn't. Yeah. And like I didn't even care to learn until now. You don't need to. So yeah. Some people, and I think a lot of the time that's more, I've experienced that with more men mm. that are like, well, I've never needed to learn how yeah. to cook an egg. I've never, and I'm like, cook an egg? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, be fucking for real, dude. Like you should at least have like, two to three breakfasts, lunch, and dinners yeah. that you can make and snacks. There's some simplistic yes. stuff. Like, come on. Come on. Yeah. Um, but I know people that I've dated in the past or even people that I haven't dated for that reason. <laughs> I, like, I hear that and I'm like, screw it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to date you if you've never cooked an egg. Yeah. I don't want to date you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's one of those things. Um, maybe not an egg. If you're allergic to egg, it doesn't Wait, matter. Uh, <laughs> if you've never cooked. Yeah. Um, but it's so funny to me because yeah I I feel like I really take on the gender role in that Mm, way where mm. anytime I've been in a relationship I really love cooking yeah I love cooking and I'm like let me bake for you let me be be Miss Betty Cracker I love that about you yeah (laughs) (laughs) I'm like I'm ready you know and I thank you and I and I do think honestly uh I've had to self-audit a couple times and be like do I feel pressure (laughs) <laughs> and I'm like, no, I really just enjoy do, it. Yeah. And, I, and it comes naturally to me. So why would I ignore that? Yeah. And I think getting into any relationship, any partnership. Yeah. It's a, way, I a wanted, form of the way you show love Oh, as well. yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I show it to yeah. my friends that yeah. way all the time. I'm like, let me cook for you. Let yeah. me make this for you. Yeah. I'm like, I begged you to let me make you a hot cocoa the other day. It was delicious. <laughs> I was like, can it I was make you a holiday in a cup. <laughs> holiday spirit. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> when we're past the holiday. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, it's. It's one of those things, and I and I think about that a lot. But I think about cleaning, mm. and I'm really good. Don't look at the state of, of my home studio right now, but um, I'm really good at organizing when I have a good space and an ample yeah. room. I think yeah. I'm really good at that. I've also in smaller spaces really gotten 
good about figuring what yeah, what was the best are, for yeah. the space. Um, but I benefit from a very like anal retentive cleaning partner. Yeah. I bet I benefit so much. And like maybe they've fallen on that sword and they're like, I hated living with money. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but no. hopefully not. Um, but I've dated a lot of clean freaks. Mm. And I think it's because they compliment me in that way mm. where I'm never gonna be super messy. But I'll be in the kitchen doing something and they're like cleaning as we go. That's really nice. And I'm like, that has really helped me. Yeah. I've had, I've dated a lot of guys that like don't mind dishes, that don't mind like mopping, vacuuming, doing those things. And I'm like, I will Mr. Say, Man. Though, like, I've also seen people in relationships where the men seemingly feel like they don't need to do any of it. <sighs> and I've witnessed it like in multiple friends and like even some of my family, like dating people where the man just kicks back and he's like, oh, on the recliner d- yeah. with a beer. Yeah. And it's very comfortable for them. I'm like, how do you feel OK with this? Mm-hmm. And like I. And I do feel like that's a gender role that's acceptable. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. if a woman was kicking back when a guy was doing all the things, like yeah. I think it's much more looked down upon. Whereas oh. like a man, like it's very acceptable mm-hmm. on a Thanksgiving where the wife's cooking everything and the the dad is just like watching football. Chilling. Yeah. 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 In the living room. Yeah. It's so wild to me that I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up because I think that is something that we've seen and it's so stereotypical and yeah. we've seen it in media. We've seen yeah. it and we read it in books and we yeah. see it in real life. Totally. We still to this day in 2024 are seeing that, you know. Well, the interesting thing that I'm seeing more of is the man, a lot of men that I've seen that are that way, they feel like, well, I bring the money into the home, but the woman is still working as well. So she's doing both. Yep. And so then like a lot of stats that so I'm what's reading. the double standard there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, a lot of stats that I'm reading recently are talking about how women are taking all of it on. Mm. And like that is actually leading to more divorce because they're like, now I don't need you because you're not providing anything no. more than I can provide for myself. Yeah. Well, think about it this way. If like women weren't even allowed to get credit cards until yeah. the 70s. What? Huh? Which I also feel like is just 30 years ago. Yeah, no, I know. It always feels like 30 years ago and it's, we're at 50 for you. Um, But the 70s, like women were still not allowed to, or like on their own, you know, like be on their own leases and things like that. That's insane. It's insane. Um, That's why before there was that That like vision of the nuclear family. The man goes, he works nine to five, he comes home, sits on the recliner. Yeah. The wife has cleaned the house all day. The, you know, don't worry, darling version of like everything is perfect. The men go to work and the women get to do take care of the kids and and play and have fun. And then they welcome their husband with a warm like scotch and (laughs) blah. You know, it's like, uh, you know. Yeah. (laughs) And like, trust me. I, as a partner, there's been plenty of times where I've been like, oh, my partner's working all day and I want to do something totally. special for them. And, and I great. think you should. Yeah. You should explore that if you have that inclination. Absolutely. No matter your gender. Yeah. Like, think about how nice it would be coming home yeah. to someone caring for you. Yeah. I hear that. And maybe if you're the partner that someone comes home to, you're not able to provide that every time. Sure. And that is so fair. Yeah. Um, when you can do it, I really would recommend doing it. Yeah. And for the ones that never get to do it because they're the ones usually working, try a weekend mm. where you go like, hey, I know if they're running errands, maybe surprise them. Yeah. And like they run errands and you usually would go golfing with your buddies or yeah. do your workout class or something. Stay home and do something for them so yeah. that when they come home, they feel cared for. Or give them a day where they don't have to do with the norm Anything. Is. Yeah. Don't have to lift a Finger. Exactly. I think that it's it's very easy to fall into that comfort comfort of like this is just what we do. Yeah. This is how our household is yeah. run. Regardless of how that's laid out, like mm-hmm. both people would always feel good about the other person taking mm-hmm. whatever that is off their plate. Like 100%. A, as a partner in any role in any however you're divvying up those those um chores or needs for the household like taking any of that off your partner's plate every once in a while is going to be so totally helpful. like, yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, there, there's like a theory right now on TikTok called like the peeled orange theory. And it's kind of like, um, I don't need someone to peel my orange for me, but my partner does it anyway because they know I like Aww. oranges. And it's like, the whole thing is like, they know you can do it yeah. by them, by yourself, yeah. but they're going to do it That's to so help sweet. you anyway. I love that. Um, yeah. And there's actually been a lot of uproar. There was this really viral video um, about this husband that was making um, like, a, it was a recipe. His mm-hmm. wife sent him to the grocery store. She sent him with a list mm. He, uh, something what it was like nachos but then chips were off the list like corn chips right mm-hmm. and he got there and he was like i don't know if we have corn chips he like calls his wife 
text her she's busy she's working that's the whole reason he went and she was like i can't talk right now i'm in a meeting yeah he gets annoyed that she won't answer her phone and he's like instead of buying the tortilla chips just to be safe whether they have some at home or not like a couple dollars they're a couple dollars and you know they're in the recipe so even if you don't eat them for the like whatever he doesn't buy them and he gets home and he's like you should have answered my phone call like i was trying to and there was such an uproar wow. from the internet, and rightfully so, I think, because people were like, why are you, what are you teaching her a lesson? Yeah. Like, that is not a, that's not a partnership. No. Like, you, you need to just be, like, even if you're, if I was ever in that circumstance and someone wasn't answering me about something, just get it. you would yeah. just get it. You yeah. just get it. You yeah. just get it. And you try to make it simpler for all, everyone yeah. involved. There's no teaching someone a lesson. No. And also there's so much weaponized incompetence there. Yeah. Like that's the thing that really makes my blood boil about running a household mm. is like, I remember when I lived with someone and he was really lovely um, with a lot of that like sharing responsibilities and he was really clean. So yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, but when I lived with them, you know, there was a couple things that like I would buy like brands of like, whether it's laundry detergent or cleaners or like we get this specific kind of almond milk, like yeah. don't be looking at me when you fucking pour almond milk five days a week <laughs> and don't go, don't go to the store and be like, which almond milk do we get? <laughs> That's weaponized incompetence, in my opinion. Like, and, you know, maybe that's a very extremistic case, but I think so many times, like, um, in heterosexual relationships, Mm -hmm. I've seen more men Mm -hmm. do that. And trust me, (laughs) I do that when it comes to cars. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I don't know how an engine runs. That's your job. (laughs) And I understand pot calling the kettle black, okay? Where there's some hypocrisy here. But when it's everyday stuff that we both use that, like, this is not, I'm not an expert in cleaning products. Right. I'm not an yeah. expert in like, if yeah. you're a mechanic, I'm yeah. like, you're doing that. Yeah. But like the things that we use every day, like cleaning products, yeah. fucking yeah. what, hard. what we buy, what kind of bread we buy, yeah. what kind of eggs we get. Like if you're living with me and yeah. we have this every week, yeah. you should you know. know. And I, I will not judge you well, if you have a folder like, on your phone of pictures. Yeah. <laughs> like, do it if you need to. Take notes. Like, well, and then also, like, the having to be told. Like, the, even with that example of the nachos, like, oh, wasn't on the list. Yeah. You didn't tell me. It's your fault. Like, yes. use your fucking brain. <laughs> that part. Like, I mean, it's not that hard. It's not. Like, you don't need a list written out for you. Yes. Also, like, if she just says, I want to make nachos tonight, yes. go on fucking online. Yes. Before you left home, yes. check on the list yes. and see what you have. Maybe if you yes. have something. Thing, yeah. Double check your list if you need to. Yeah. You know, if she's like a little frazzled and she's sending you because she can't because exactly. she has to work, then take, I don't know, the extra two minutes it is to look in your Check cupboard. In cupboard. Oh. And if you didn't do that because you're lazy, fine, cool. Whatever. But when you get to the grocery store and you're like, she didn't put chips on this and that's like the main ingredient. Yeah. We're making chicken cacciatore and like, I, we don't have chicken. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, you didn't put chicken. Yeah, you know, I I've just been, my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my Italian's showing the fact that I said chicken cacciatore. Um, but it's true. Like, I'm like, hello. Yeah. Like, you d- just don't yeah. don't be an asshole for no, no reason. Yeah. And so many people were like in an uproar. And he really this man with his chest was like, see, men, we should stand up for ourselves when the women are not communicating with us and are ignoring us. And I was like. <sighs> The call is coming from inside the house. like, <laughs> And she's working. She was working. It's not like she's out partying with no. her friends and ignoring you. She's, she's working. working. And again, how much is a bag of chips? How much is three pounds of chicken breast? Like and also, nothing. Like, you're just also buy posting it. this online about your wife. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. That's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally, <laughs> i'm sorry I, we just grabbed hands anyone who's listening at home we just and not watching we just grabbed hands and it was very ceremonious um it's true yeah. i thought about that same i'm like if you're talking shit on your person yeah up front in with your chest on the internet anywhere i don't want to hear you gro- talking in the grocery store about it no i don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it. No. You are not a partner if you are at all throwing them under the bus I like that. I hope she left him. Oh, I know. I, that is grounds for a divorce. I was like, not your wife anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> That was so stupid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys find it funny. <laughs> but like literally, oh, bye. Yeah. bye. 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 Like, I can't believe. But that's uh. the incompetence that I feel like 
he obviously doesn't run the house. No. <laughs> Sorry, you thought you ran the house, but you don't because but you couldn't even think if you had chips and instead of being, yeah. uh, I don't know, a responsible adult and just being like, I'm going to buy them anyway because I know we'll use them. Yeah. But it comes back to like the gender roles in a, a little bit way too. Like I, I've, I've, a friend recently told me that he thinks that the reason we're seeing an uproar of like men like saying these kind of things about women online mm -hmm. is because men are losing the power that they once had. The power that they once had to control the household, to control the money, to control like the job market. Mm -hmm. And now women are able to come against them in the job market. And so they're losing a little bit of that that Absolutely. real estate of being able yeah. to just control them. And then also money and like everything yes. like that. That they're feeling, and that's why we would get like these random crazy yeah. comments from angry men yes. that have nothing to do with what we're even talking about. Yeah, it's an ownership. It is yeah. like it's so much of like I feel like I'm losing power. So how do I gain so power I'm back? So I'm like gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah no. <laughs> same exact cadence. Wow. Well. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly yeah. on that, and I, your friend as well. Like I think yeah. that it, it's it's scary it is scary and i think that's where we really need to promote as much as we can yeah. these healthy dynamics between partnerships right. because like if you don't cook like yeah. you actually cook now though but like if you went into Learning. this you're so good you, you really she's learned so much this <laughs> last you. year and she's the shit that you've made has been so impressive Thank and i'm you. just like so proud of you so proud of you but i'm like if you would have come into this relationship yeah. with neil and you both would have been like hey i don't cook yeah and then you could either be like sick we're going to order in all of this. Well, that's what or happened you could when we be first like, started dating. I'm going to start learning. I would like to learn or whatever. And that's exactly what happens. When we first started dating, I entered the relationship saying, I don't cook. He's like, I don't cook. He's like, okay, I guess we're eating out a yeah. lot. And like that was, and then I just happened that's to like how it should want be. to like start learning. Yeah. And that's what, where it transitioned. Yeah. But because of out of the kindness of your heart, you were like, I want to learn this skill I for my. I want to Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It is a care. Yeah. It was, you were expressing your love through an act of service a hundred percent i think what we're what like the main thing for us too here is like what we want to say is there is no specific gender role no whatever you can do as a partner that best serves the mm -hmm. partnership yeah that's what you do yeah. there's nothing saying that a woman is supposed to clean there's nothing saying that the man has to know how to fix things around the house no nope. like, there's nothing saying any of that like mm -hmm. as long as you guys can provide for each other yeah. and the household runs as seamlessly as possible yeah. and then you kind of like also give and take where you can like yeah. that's really really what we want to promote and you're not losing power by even being a stay-at-home dad like you shouldn't feel like demasculated Less of a man. yeah if anything i would say you're more of a man by embracing what your strength is exactly like that is super sexy yeah absolutely. A, a man being like <laughs> if a man looked at me and and this is going to be an unpopular opinion but if a man looked at me and was like listen I don't do spiders. <laughs> I'd be like, you got it, baby. Also, by the way, uh, she is the best spider killer. <laughs> I'm like, I did have spider to call killer. her. I got you, baby. And like that would, I would prefer that than him screaming and like, ah! like, no, just tell me up front. <laughs> tell me up front. That's not, that's a weakness of yes, yours. Yes. I'm going to go great. Heard. And the same thing is going to be like, uh, I've, one thing that I learned that I like naturally developed in my, like, <laughs> I think in my household I, when people got sick around me, I'd be like, oh, you're sick. <laughs> oh, don't want to see you. And it, instead of being like nurturing and being like, how can I help you? Yeah. Let me get your little nose. I was like, oh, you're sick. Peace. I'll see you in five days. <laughs> and I had to learn that. Yeah. That was like once I started dating someone and having a lot of close friends that I was like adult friendships. I was like, you're really an asshole when you do that. You know, and it was something that I had to self audit and be like, get over yourself and your worry of getting sick all the Aww. time. If you get sick, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel like I've done so much better. Yeah. Like actually providing and caring for you people. Do. Anytime you know, I like, get sick, like you're very oh my gosh, she's the best. She'll like bring stuff and leave it on my like like balcony door and like stuff. just so sweet and always just very like like checking in and just caring like I, try just, yeah. I try to i try to yeah and i and i think like in the last two years i've had partners that have gotten sick and like my first instinct was like what yeah. would i want you yeah. know and we've talked about that yeah. before like how would you want to be taken care yeah. of if you're sick how would you want to be yeah. cared for and i was like uh soup uh a comfy blanket yeah. <laughs> you know like what can i do and yeah. i just like went to the store right away and did it and i'm like it's again and we say this all the time we're not saying we're perfect we're not saying no. that we have the fucking answer to any everything but we're 
at least approaching these situations yeah. with curiosity and yeah. like wanting to learn and wanting to try and strive to be better. Well, and I think that's the main thing, wanting to learn and learning along the way. Yeah. Like nobody has all the answers and all of us evolve so much over time yeah. too. So what might work now in your partnership yeah. might change when you have kids or yeah. when somebody gets older or God forbid one of you gets sick and is unable to do certain things. Yeah. Like, And you have to adjust for all of these life changes if you're in a long-term partnership. Mm-hmm. And have a sense of humor about mm-hmm. it. If you burn the chicken, you're like, hey, baby, I'm going to cook for us tonight. Huh? <laughs> I know I don't usually cook, you know, and then you cook that night yeah. and you burn the chicken. Yeah. I'm like, that is so cute and funny. Like, yeah. I'm like, just have it's a good effort. energy about yeah. it. Like both parties, yeah, like the absolutely. person that's like trying something and failing yeah. and the person that's like receiving the failure. Just be like, you tried. That was yeah. so sweet. Like, that would be so lovely. Like, absolutely. if I'm fucking lifting the hood of my car and I'm like, I blew a gasket I- I'm not going to be good at that. No. I want my husband to be like, it's okay. Go back inside. <laughs> I'll change your tire for yeah. you. I'm really like, thank you. I tried. Aww. You know? Um, and I think that's the goal. Like, yeah. I think that's just do it. Like, yeah. just have, like, that openness. Well, I think openness. you really hit the nail on the head, too, is, like, if you just ask yourself, how would I want this? Mm-hmm. How would I want to be taken care of if mm-hmm. I was sick? How would I – if I was stuck at home all day with the kids, what would I want? Yeah. That is the first step. Yeah. That is the first step. Because even if you did that and your partner, I don't know, happens to not receive the love like that, you at least tried. And then you can get notes. You still see the effort. Yes. I think that's the step one, like you said. And then like from there, you can kind of grow out. And you'll you'll get their tendencies. And if you luck out and they want exactly what you did, Mm -hmm. then you killed it. First try. And guess what? They're going to be bragging to their friends. Yep. They're going to be saying to, hopefully, yeah. I hope men brag to their guy friends. Do you guys do that? Do you guys do that? I would love to know that. <laughs> you do? I'm like, please do that because yeah. we want to be bragged yeah. about. We do it all the time. All like, the time. you will not catch me slipping talking about what my boyfriend did wrong, but you will catch me being like, and, and he, he pulled out the door. <laughs> and then, and yes, yes, he paid. Yes. And then, you know, we'll say all these things. Like, yeah. we want to brag about you to our yeah. friends. We want to, we yeah. want to talk about how we have such a good partnership, relationship, yeah. friendship, you know. So just be out here trying to yeah. take care of your people yeah. and like just households. It d- yeah. Do your strengths. Do as much as you can carry. Absolutely. Also advocate for yourself when you're like, yeah. this is too much. I yes. will perish. Well, yeah, absolutely. That's such a great point, too, because we all go through the ups and downs of that as well. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be months, weeks, days, years where you're just not able to do your full capacity. And that's okay too. Um, So, yeah. So to wrap this up, um, there are no gender roles. Do Mm -hmm. what works best for your partnership. There are also no rules saying you can't take on other things every once in a while to take it off your partner's plate. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, how would you want to be cared for and do that for your partner? Um, and we just hope you guys have a loving home as you deserve. Yeah. Yeah. And what are you grateful for? I am grateful for a good cup of coffee. Oh, oh yeah, you are. I am. And it's a good good one. It's a good one. (laughs) You deserve a good cup of coffee every day for the rest of your life. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll say that with my chest. (laughs) Um, on that note, I'm grateful for Eggs Benedict. Ooh. <laughs> what a niche. Me I know. I what a niche. That. Like, it's not even breakfast. Like, I'm just like, what year is it? <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, Eggs Benedict. I love um, that. That alone. Oh, yeah. we'll do a breakfast date soon. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we are so grateful for you guys. So thank you for being here. We will see you next week on Femtall. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.